Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to, um, New Super Mario Bros. DS Remastered. Woo. So, last time, I met Wiggle King. It was a good time. This time, I'm going to visit Ludwig von Koopa. Oh my. Okay, they do not go very far. You know? Hmm. Okay. I keep thinking this block is gonna move and I am right. So, I was gonna say something. Yeah, I remember now. So at my work, one of the things we have to do with customers is take their first name so that they can sign for a product. And, um, whoops, okay. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Good. Anyway. So anyway, um, I encounter a lot of names that to me as a white guy seem kind of weird or interesting, but maybe aren't that rare or odd or at all, anything at all to, you know, more informed people. Ow! More informed people. Like, uh, oh gosh, no! Curses! Okay, anywho. There's this guy who shows up named Vaughn. Just V-O-N. Vaughn. And sometimes I'll encounter like two or three people with a name for a last name that, you know, I then internalize as, yes, this is a last name. And then someone will show up with that for a first name. Which is interesting. Oh no, good job, me. Nope. And a lot of people, will, when I ask them for their name, they'll give me their last name first for some reason. And, you know, I'll just accept that as their first name and ask what their last name is. And then they'll be confused and tell me, that is my last name. Woo, look at that mushroom goo. So yeah, that's a thing that happens. Curses! Curse you, momentum! Okay, okay, so. Because I took damage, I am now... Uh, are these gonna move too? I I'm gonna wait and see. I feel like this is a wait and see kind of situation. Okay. Mushroom. Hey, Mushroom, let's be friends. And be friends, I mean I'm going to devour you, because you're a Mushroom. That hopefully lacks sentience. Okay. Making my way up. I think it really says something about the culture I'm in. <clears throat> One of the things that people have to do when they bring in their recycling is sort it and we have red and blue buckets for them to sort into. The red ones are smaller than the blue ones and that's the only difference. Anyway, I think it really says something about our culture, well my culture, the culture that I live in, that the most common question I get asked is what goes in which bucket? And I'm not sure what it says, and I'm and I'm not commenting on whether it's a good or a bad thing. It is just a thing that exists.
Woo! Oh my. Alright, how do I get to... Okay, okay, I think I can do this. How far down do you go? Okay. Okay. That one wasn't so bad. Okay. Okay, I can do this. Oh, hey, you. Hey, you. Guess what? Ha ha! Take that. Ha! And this will give me plenty of room to deal with you. Alright, so, this level, the gimmick for the boss, which was supposed to make the boss more difficult, I think, worked largely in my favor by giving me plenty of emotional space to deal with the boss in. Alright, Mushroom Gordagoo. In some words, that is that DGE would just be pronounced J, but I don't know how to pronounce it here. I've never seen. It. That's that's one of the big problems I have with the English language. That there are no consistent rules. It's like this joke I keep seeing. English doesn't borrow grammar from other languages. It follows other languages darn down dark alleys, knocks them out, and rifles through their pockets for loose grammar. Okay, so, second star coin. Uh, 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 okay, okay, this is getting, my controller is becoming unresponsive and I have to do something about that. Remember to always give your controllers sufficient warmth and affection. Also power. Ah, that is much better. P switch. Three, four, five. Oh, what? Hey, is this the last? This is the last star coin. And so, collecting those coins gets me to a secret place. Fascinating. I collected all three star coins, but not the star. Now I have to collect them all again. I think the star could stand to be a bit closer to the third star coin in this case. W w was that two star coins right there? Hmm. Nintendo, what do you w Nintendo, what do you think you're doing? Nope. I mean, this is a clever puzzle. I give you that. But Nintendo, Nintendo, what do you think you're doing putting the first two star coins so close together? This must be a really short level. Ooh. Oh my. Take- No, I was too slow! Th this is exactly the kind of puzzle that I love, and I was too slow to deal with it. Normally I just accept that I messed up and, you know, move on with my life, emotionally and physically. But not this time. No, I must know what is up there. Especially given how short this, this level is. I hear that recent Mario games they're deliberately making levels really short so that you get stuck on a loop of, okay, just a few more because they're like potato chips. And, you know, I can, I can accept that. I haven't played anything more recently than... I, technically, I did play a... 
Um, come on, brain. New Super Luigi Brothers U or whatever. But I haven't played anything. Like, I didn't beat the game. I gave up before, like, the first castle. Partially because I did not understand the mechanics of the game at all. And Luigi U expects you to already know the mechanics from, uh... Mario U. Anyway, I... I'm getting way off track. Oh my. So anyway, what was I saying? Alright, I've played New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and that's the most recent one I've played. I haven't played New Super Mario Bros. 2. Or New Super Mario 3D Land. Or this, that, and the other. Certainly not Mario Maker. Alright, so... Toad's Lucky Roulette, Pipe Maze. Alright, someone explained to me why people hate pipe mazes, and yes, I understand that explanation of the loading time, well, not loading time, it's just how much time is spent not actually playing the game. Yes, it is easy to do pipe mazes wrong like that. But when a pipe maze is done well, I just love it. I'm not sure how this was supposed to work in the uh, DS game, because the Super Mario Bros. X mechanics totally break that puzzle. Oh no, I messed up. I got lucky. I got so lucky there. Okay, up, down. Okay, okay. See, this is a good pipe maze, because you can usually tell with a glance where stuff is. Or where stuff is going to go. Hmm. And this pipe exists purely to tell you to keep an eye out for another pipe that's going to get you a, a stark one. Alright, so. Bonk. So this puts me down here. And this will hopefully take me to the. Yes! Alright! Oh my! They just dropped me out here. Whoops! Alright, so. Cleverly enough, you, you have to get a turtle shell down here in order to hit that question block. And I think I absolutely annihilated the one turtle in the area. Huh. I don't know, does this go anywhere? It does not. The side pipe goes nowhere. Where does this up pipe go? Oh, nice! So I suppose the key to making a good pipe maze is actual gameplay and letting people n be able to look around and see where they're going to end up if they take any given pipe. Like if I take this pipe, I'm just going to fall down. My objective is this pipe. Okay, I had some funny momentum there, but it fixed itself. And now I escape. Woo! Yeah! Alright, well, join me next time as I start clearing out the other numbered stages for this world. See you then.